Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial brought to you by brightech.co.uk. This tutorial has been requested by Wendy from the familytreeforum.com. She wants to know how to get rid of this red staining or red, some sort of red substance on there. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty nasty. So, the way I did it, Wendy, was pretty uh, simple really. It looks worse than what it is, but sometimes it's going to be hard to remove. But in this case, it was quite simple. So, there's, what the first thing you want to do is um, make sure you're in RGB color mode, and this way it will give you the full um, the channels that you want to look for. Now, obviously, when I'm flicking through these channels, red, green, and blue, which is the colored channels, you can see why well, it's important to scan these files into RGB color mode because it gives you access to these channels now straight away I can see in the red channel that all this red marks have gone and if I put on the green one you can see it's back on that it's on it and it's on the blue as well so what we want to do to save that a lot of hassle so I've got the flu as you can well tell so all you want to do is um, copy this red channel so you want to go control A and then you should see these marching ants coming round the picture and then control C on your keyboard and that will copy this red channel go back to our layers channel and then we want to create a new layer to copy our channel into so now we've got this new blank layer I'm just going to push on the keyboard now, control V and hey presto we've got our red channel now obviously that's the original and that's the red channel that we're going to be using so what you could do now is from there I've noticed some of your pictures that you've been doing are pretty much you're doing a really good job uh, the next thing you want to be doing with them is just bringing a bit of uh, life back into them and the way to do that is by just um, going to adjustments levels and bringing this levels box will come up and bring this black levels all the way up like so to the first peak and then basically as you can see already that's give us a bit more of a bit more of a uh, nicer look to it and I've hardly done any any work it's just took me a couple of seconds now this is not always going to be as easy as this you're not always going to be able to use the channels to get rid of uh, marks you can use it to get rid of staining sometimes depending what whether it's on that channel but if it's not then you're going to have to go around and um, clone and get rid of it all and uh, clean it up that way but uh, as you can see it's that's a good start to that photo and then now we can just clean up all this area and it saved us a lot of trouble okay so that was that one and the other one you wanted to know was how to let's uh, just how to remove if someone's got an eye missing like so how do you put an eye back well the simple answer to that really is you can't you can't I can just uh, faintly see an eye there but you can't magically paint that back in with your hand it's, you can't do it so what you have to do is use what you've got so we've got a perfectly good eye here and what we're going to do is clone that eye across here there's a couple of methods you could use you could use the clone tool which is basically get it around about the eye like so um, like so make sure you're sort of central to the eye really and then just make a selection uh, with your ALT key and then click and then bring it across now I can see where the eye is so I'm just going to try and get that over where the eye, re original eye was and then like so and then that's it she's got her eye back now obviously this does look a bit uh, dodgy around here but you're going to have to fix that with your cone tool and, and, and patch it up a little bit to make it look something and then once you've finished it should look pretty good now obviously it looks better like that than with no eye and then you can finish all this repair work around here so that's one way of doing it uh, the other way um, 
you should clean up round here as well before you clone that which I meant to so basically before you start doing all that eye stuff just clean here first clean up around it and then just do what I did with the clone tool um, the other way of doing it is the patch tool so I'm just going to quickly brush just to get rid of some of this here you can take more time right so the patch tool works in this way you just get your patch tool like so make a nice sort of selection better than what I've done there but something like similar to that and then just drag your drag it across now this way I find is a bit more difficult to get your eye central you know but basically let go and deselect control D and that's your eye there at least you've got an eye there now where you can work with yes it is the same eye but it's not too bad it doesn't stick out so people can go oh look she's got no eye the eyebrow you can sort out as well you can put the eyebrow back once you've sorted this out and that's about it really that's as simple as that you just need to it'll be the same process if her, if her ear was missing or you know whatever you could use the patch tool to take a chunk of something to put in or or something like that and sometimes you have to paint in an area that's missing with a you know if it's dark you can use the black and paint an area in it's just you're gonna have to do it if it's missing there's nothing you can do so I hope this helps you out a little bit um, any other questions please ask thanks so much very much for watching bye for now